All right, Shalom. Shalom. First off, and for most as always, I want to say, call him Lame La Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakwadash. I want to give double honor being to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that do rule and teach well. And of course, as always, I want to say, Shalom to the hopeful elect out there, the 144,000. Okay. So this is going to be, you know, just a, a quick um, open form. You know, and just rolling spirit, you know, and I just wanted to uh, really go into the book of First Thessalonians, the fifth chapter, you know, and, um, <clears throat> you know, just couple, you know, touch a couple points, you know, really going in about how, you know, it's truly a blessing and how, you know, how unaware and un, 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 how aware in the know, you know, knowing about the prophecies that's going to come to pass soon, you know, the MOTB, Jacob's Trouble. You know, the of uh, the return of Yahabashai, you know, World War Three, you know, it's truly a blessing, you know, but people out here, you know, the uh the regular you know, the uh the regulars, I call them, you know, the uh the average Joes, you know, these uh, Babylonians, you know, they don't know nothing. You know, and hey, that's that's very scary to not know what's gonna happen upon this earth. Okay, and what's and what's about to come upon this earth is 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 gonna is, is gonna be uh, it's gonna be very very vicious, okay, very very brutal, okay, because judgment is coming. All right, and real quick before I even start off in the book of First Thessalonians five, I get a quick precept. <clears throat> Isaiah thirty three and verse six, and it says, "And the wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength, excuse me, and strength the of salvation." The fear of the Lord is his treasure, right? So the wisdom and knowledge that we have gained, you know, throughout our journey is truth, you know, about the prophecies, you know, you know, about, you know, you know, within our experiences and our walks. OK, we're going to be good because first and foremost, we have the name of Yahweh Shemal Shai. OK, and, and we have faith in those names. All right. And those names will protect us because it says in Proverbs 18. In verse 10, it says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, right? The righteous runneth into it and, and is safe. Meaning what? Meaning that meaning that the righteous are okay, are constantly going to be putting their trust and their hope in the names of Yahweh Bashmal Shai. Okay, because, you know, people out here, you know, they may call on Jesus Christ, you know, uh, 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 Yahweh and, and many other false names. Okay, but the only true name under heaven Okay, that can save us is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so that's why it's, it's a blessing for us to be in the know and to be, you know, aware of what's going on around us. Okay, that's why it says in the book of Edges, second Edges, I believe, the ninth chapter, it says, mention thou the, the, the time diligently in itself. Okay, meaning what? Meaning, you know, keep your eyes, you know, uh, um, watchful, watchful for prophecy, you know keeping you know keeping an eye out on the you know on the next big thing okay so this is the book of back in thessalonians excuse me first thessalonians 5 and 1 it says but of the times and the seasons brethren you have no need that i write unto you right because you know because you as an israelite especially being you know uh, uh in his truth okay you should already know what time they were living in and we're living in a time of privacy being fulfilled we're living in a time of the, the Lord's word coming to pass. So there's no need, just like Paul said, you no, know, there's there's no need for a brother to tell you where time we're in. Okay, you should already know. Verse 2 it says, For your souls know perfectly that the day of the Lord you have a shy, so cometh as a thief in the night. Right? Because you no know, no man knows the hour, time, or day. You know, we don't know exactly when it's coming, you know, you know, you have a shy's return. But we do know that he is coming, okay? And his return is going to catch a lot of people off guard, okay? And that's why, like I said earlier at the beginning of this lesson, that's why it's a beautiful thing that we're, you know, in the truth, you know, that we're in the know, okay? And, and that's ultimately, that's mercy for me, how about Shemar Shai, because judgment is coming, you see? The Lord has woke us up and called us into this truth, okay, before shit hits the fan, all right? Verse three, and it says, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them at your veil upon, upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. Right. Because, 
you know, um, as the days grow older, you know, and as, you know, these days get closer and closer, closer, closer and closer, excuse me, as these days get closer and closer towards the end, you know, people are, you know, just, you know, you know, they're relaxed, you know, they're, you know, they can go out in the grocery stores and buy food and dinner. They can watch football and you know, bread and circus, you know, they can kick back in under lazy boy chairs and just have a good old time. You see, but not knowing that, you know, that they're living in Babylon, you see, and that and, and also, too, they don't know that Babylon is bound for destruction. OK, and this is and, and, and this, you know, city, you know, uh, these people here, they dwell, they dwell carelessly in this city of Babylon. So that's why, you know, they're uh, all about peace and safety. OK, that's why he says the sudden the sudden destruction is going to is going to come upon them. Just like a woman in travail, okay? Because when a pregnant when a pregnant woman, you know, is carrying that baby, you know, she doesn't, you know, okay. I'll give you an example. A doctor can say, well, okay, you're gonna have this baby at, you know, this month or or that month, but that baby can come, you know, early or later, you know. So so the doctors are not always right, you see. So soon, all right, the uh, these uh, a plague is gonna hit, okay. And that's what, you know, that's that, that's that, uh, you know, those, uh, because right now Babylon, Babylon is in his, uh, the, 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 uh, birthing pains, you know, the contractions and soon, you know, the water breaking is going to be all hell breaking loose. Okay. Destruction. Okay. And to prove that, let's get this quick precept. Second edge of 16 and verse 37, it says, Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. You see, so so regardless, the the words of the Lord is gonna come to pass. Okay, the plagues that are written down in, in, in these scriptures is gonna come to pass. Okay, famine. Okay, uh, uh, pestilence. Okay, excuse me. Um, people, you know, people committing cannibalism. All right, destruction, death, mourning, distress, anguish. All right. Jacob's trouble. Those are plagues that are about to hit the uh, hit this hit this uh, kingdom. Okay. Oh, the the uh, the nuclear missiles. That's a plague. All right. I believe it actually says it. It says that uh, it says that, and this shall be the plague. Okay. And if you go to the book of uh, Ze Zechariah fourteen, real quick. Zechariah fourteen. Yep. And verse twelve. And it says, and this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet and their eyes shall consume away in their holes and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. All right. So that's talking about nuclear missiles, man. OK. And once that destruction comes, people are going to be burned up. They're going to melt like ice cream in the sun. All right. Like ice. Their flesh is going to melt their bodies, their eyes, okay? Just like how you see in the movie uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day with Sarah Connor. Just like that, but way, 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 way worse, okay? Because this is the Lord's indignation that he has towards Babylon, all right? So back in Thessalonians, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1, excuse me, 5 and uh, 4, and it says, but ye brethren are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief, right? You know, we're not... We're not um, oblivious to what's going on around us, you see, as, as far as privacy goes, you know, we, we, we uh, remain circumspect, you know, keeping our our um, our uh, T's crossed and our I's dotted. All right. And it says, verse five, it says, ye are all the children of light and the children of the of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. But let us watch and be sober, right? Because the others that sleeping is, you know, two thirds of our people, you know, they're spiritually dead. You know, they're spiritually asleep. OK, you know, the the, uh, the heathen out here, you know, Edomites and, and other nations out here. OK, they're you know, they're sleeping right now. You know, they, they can't see past Babylon, you know, for the ones that do, you know, the heathens and the, the, the Israelites that live past here, that live in Babylon. They can't see past Babylon. Because they're so caught up in, in the in the in the uh, illusions and the and the distractions that Babylon's pushes it pushes on the people with the bread and circus, you know, football season, sports, 
entertainment. That's all to keep the people, all right, uh, distracted from what's really going on behind the scenes, okay, around the world. Verse 7, and it says, For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, excuse me, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. Right, man, you got to keep that faith, you know. And what did Yahweh Shai say? Yahweh Shai said, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you shall be able to move mountains, man. Okay, and that's all we got to do, man, is keep faith. You know, put our trust and put our complete trust in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, you know, and wait upon him. You see? All right, uh, let's keep going. Okay, I'm not going to go through the whole chapter. I just, just want to get a couple more verses. You know, like, like I said, this is an open forum. You know, just go, go on with the spirit. Because I got to go, you know, back in the plantation, you know, so bear with me. This is our first Thessalonians five and verse nine. It says for, for the most high have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord. How shy Mashiach. Right, man. You know, you know, the Lord is, you know, the Lord's not going, not going to destroy us, man. You see, that's why you got to have faith that, 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 you know, that you'll be delivered in these last days. Okay. The, you know, don't, don't let your sins weigh you down. You know, don't let Satan try to tell you something different and try to deter you from your faith, from the love that the Lord has for you and that you have for the Lord, you see? And it says, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him, right, man? You know, because ultimately, you know, we're going to be, you know, uh, because because we're, we're already joint heirs with the house shy, okay? So, so you know, in the long run, you know, we're going to be with the house shy, okay? We're going to reign with the house shy. Isn't that beautiful, man? Okay, that's something that is, you know, worth the wait. All right. Verse 11. And it says, wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify one another, even as also ye do. Okay. So that being said, I just want to say, call name La Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kakwadash, though my honor being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. All right. Once again, it shall I welcome to the, the hundred and four four thousand. Okay. The house of David. And Lord's will, the Lord's sheep was fed. With that being said, shalom.